I swear, we are infinite. Welcome to the Late Night Lowdown! Tonight we're going to be doing a review of the new film, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Based on an amazing book that we both read. Yeah, we both read it. I read it um, last year. I read it the day after I saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I read it before and she read it after. So it's my roommate Shannon's favorite book of all time. Yeah. And I put off reading it for so long because <laughs> I was scared if I didn't like it, we'd have like a friendship rift. <laughs> because she lo like she loves this book and she was always like, read Perks. And I was always like, I will one day. And I was scared I wouldn't like it. But I really liked it. So all my fears were for nothing. To talk about the novel for a second, I thought it was incredible. It's basically about a boy named Charlie. The book is a series of letters and it goes through his first year of high school. It was written by Stephen Shabotsky and before that point I had never read a book in that writing style. Those of you who've read Perks you know exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. And what I liked about reading the book after I watched the movie was that there was more to the story that I didn't know yet. Ask Alex, I had no idea of anything yeah, that was going on. Like, I wanted more after the movie was over, so I got to read more when I opened up the book. So let's talk about the movie yeah. now. It was at TIFF, and we live in Toronto. We were in the city for the premiere. We didn't get to work it. And we're both broadcasting students, so that was a real disappointment <laughs> that we weren't at the TIFF premiere. We saw it the week it came out. We hadn't heard anything from anybody, because no one had seen it really yet. First of all, can I talk about the fact that I really feel like Ezra Miller, who plays Patrick, stole the show? I thought he was perfect like, for that character. Like you don't even Like, you don't even realize how he embodied Patrick. No critiques. Ezra... You were flawless. It I'm was a big perfection. Fan. It was so great. When you're adapting a book to screen, you always want the writer to have that influence on, on the film. Yeah, and I was saying how it's such an iconic book. It is very, you know, indie kind of. It's so different that I was worried that when it was adapted to screen, it was going to be very commercialized. But it wasn't. It was not, and I really thank Stephen Shabotsky for that because since he wrote it and he directed it, I feel like he really kept true to the novel. He didn't yeah. try to commercialize it. And the feeling to... that you get when you read the book was the same from watching the movie. Exactly. Even though I watched the movie first. Like we said in our last video, we're really big Harry Potter fans, yeah. and so we love, 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 Emma love Watson. Emma Watson. We were worried since such a big celebrity was in it with two other more unknown celebrities, it would kind of wreck what it was. She did a good job. We have one critique. The accent. Emma, I love you. I love you to death. But in the first few scenes, it is a little apparent you're British. I'm sorry. Okay. By the end, um, I didn't notice it anymore. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if we got used to it as we were watching the film. I think maybe because we were looking for it, we were looking to yeah. see if her accent was going to be okay. It was more <laughs> evident to us. Also, it wasn't marketed that Nina Dobrev was in it. I had no that idea was she was in the shocker. film. Yeah. Let's talk about Logan Lerman. He did everything that he should have. He was the perfect Charlie. It was all He right. was not, he didn't glamorize it, he didn't Hollywood it. It was very emotional. It was... It was perfect. I feel like everything that was so great about this film is because Steven Shabotsky had final say. I don't want to, I'm not going to mention what the final plot twist is. I don't want to spoiler alert that for you in the book or the movie. It was perfect though. It came at a great time. It was well done. Yeah. It was a shocker. Coming from, Laura, from me. <laughs> Laura's reaction in the theater was so funny. Also, can we talk about the quick cameo from Joan Cusack as the doctor? That was great. Like just, oh hey Joan. Dylan McDermott. What great um, genetic casting. Our rating? Out of 10, I would give it 8.5 wallflowers. I would have to agree with you with 8.5 wallflowers out of 10. I saw it twice and I liked it just as much as I liked it in the first time. I noticed more. I'm gonna see it again on Saturday. I'm really excited to see it again. I really liked it. So everyone go see it. First being Wallflower, it's in theaters everywhere, starring Emma Watson, Logan Ezra Miller, Lerman. and of course, Logan Lerman. Lerman. This has been The Late Night Lowdown. And that was Perks being a Wallflower. Let's drive.